What's up guys, Joey Robinson. We are at Legend Suspension. I'm with Dominic Perillo. Dom 829, double hand drag master. Yes sir. Double handy. Double double handy Dom. And today we are gonna do a bell brawl recap of the 2020 Sturgis stop and give you kind of the ins and outs of the top five and uh, show you in our opinion what they did right, what they did wrong, and uh, just go through some sick footage. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> Play. Play. Run it. Kenny. We got right. Kenny coming up first. Junkyard Kenny. Coming out hot. Cool thing about what <clears throat> Kenny's doing right now is he's just bringing so many fresh ideas to Harley Riders' minds that we haven't really seen yet. It's just a different style for sure. Yeah, and he came out swinging. 100%. For Sturgis, like there, there was no playing. Kenny came out for blood. I'm gonna say this, I wasn't expecting Kenny at all. Not at sure. all. Underdog, and he came out swinging. Definitely. But we know what he's capable of. Watch the guy on a street bike. Yes, yeah. you know? it's insane. I wouldn't surf like that. No. <laughs> <laughs> that was a slow surf. That was pretty intense. He kills it with the drifting. I'm kind of freezing up. I don't know what to say now. <laughs> like, <laughs> like once I like get it, <laughs> you know, then all right, we said. Where'd the sound go? It's still there. You turn the sound off? No. I mean, I, regardless how you feel, dude. Regardless what you ride, dude. Wow. Parking a bagger like that. <laughs> yeah. Handbrake, no handbrake. Obviously, it's way gnarlier without the handbrake. But and then yeah, let's and then do a burnout at 12. And obviously doing a burnout at 12. Is just, there it is. There's only a handful of people that could for sure just park a bagger on 12 like that. Yeah, and I think they were all here. Yeah, no handbrake. Minus the OGs, you know, yeah. Rob one wheel and those guys. I don't know, Kenny's just pure entertainment. His whole his whole group's just pure entertainment. And they're good people, they're they're good they're good old boys. <laughs> they're good old boys. And like they'll take care of you but they'll knock you on your ass too. They so. just love to have fun. And yeah, do not disrespect fire. them and make sure you're respectful. Then also the first person <laughs> to do a worm in a brawl. <laughs> Great. First person to dance at the end of their run. So, I mean, honestly, you, you can be like me and do all the tricks in the fucking room, sit there and fucking, or not like me, try all day long to, like, get something, and if you come out with energy levels like Kenny, you're always going to be the guy yeah. who's fucking just worried doing, about the tricks. Doing the best tricks. Standing on top of, like, a 20000 dollars bag. Yeah, not giving a shit. I fucking panic when I mean my number. <laughs> Alright, we got Gabe coming up next. Reckless right, 203. Dude, one of the founders. Coming out here. Jumping. So Gabe had just kind of gone through like bike nightmare right before all this, so he had fresh motor builds. No excuse, I don't want to give excuses for him. That motor was fresh, his, his Dyna motor was fresh, so he, he was kind of struggling to find home all weekend, but he killed it. Yeah, his Dyna wasn't running right either, had a few things wrong with it, so. But he came out swinging on the bagger. Everyone was probably wondering why he only had one bagger. Riders knew right away yeah. what's up, but I don't think the other guys realized like, why it was off. See, so, yeah, like, go back a little bit. See right there? All right, watch this. See how loose the bike is? And then he just grabs the front brake. Dude, being able to go yeah. right there. Yeah, being insane. able to take the bike from, like, just a, like, literally a reckless drift to just coming up to a standstill like that requires the, uh, I can't even explain it. It's a lot of skill for sure. Uh-oh. Oh, who's this guy? Uh-oh. You got me coming up. Oh, what was that? Uh, it was a good recovery. That's what it was. <laughs> I'm gonna go out and say bump. it. It's, it's not because Dom came in my rig. It's not because, you know, we're, we're technically teammates right now, but I think the most controlled riding and the best riding of the weekend was from Dom. That said, like we were talking about, Kenny standing on top of his bagger, Sea Bear floating into the crowd like it's nothing. It's, it's not. Yeah. The energy not, levels are just different, yeah. and that's what a rider like Dom and myself we have to learn. Like, while we can put our fucking elbow on the ground, the crowd doesn't really understand that. Like, you got to keep them hyped up. Yeah, hundred percent. I gotta get better at that for sure. 
and it, it's hard to like focus so long on riding and then we, we only have five or six of these a year so it's hard to really get into like that competitive state especially when you were just partying with all these guys the night before yeah you don't really view them as competition and then the moment comes the crowd's there and it's full panic i definitely should have drifted more but we got to put a pipe on there with back pressure Shout out to Joby though, I think sick as hell. It looks really good. I wish my bike was running better too. Oof. Sheesh. See, like at this point, you're just, it's just kind of like slop. Yeah. You're just like holding on, like, all right, what trick have I not done yet? We're not, yeah. that's fucked up. Um, you will never catch me trying to learn that, dude. You're getting so sideways with your hands off. Let's go back. back. Dude, it was pretty scary. Look at that. Bro, the last little, <laughs> no, 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 no. The last well, little bit of it. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're gonna start clapping behind. I can see it. Suicide, you're right, right. Yeah. Oof. Right when Oof. it started coming out, I was like, uh oh. Mm -mm. <laughs> and I know where you got those from. Sea Bear started doing those a yep. while back. But regardless who started them, I think you're kind of taking them too much. I he wish I had pumped that. Up. He's arm pumped. Yes. <laughs> I was like, I couldn't hang on anymore. I mean, whatever. He looked good though. Look at that helmet. I know, in that paint job. You got that one so long ago, I don't know how you kept it nice. Dude, because I've only worn it like three times. So it's the flex on it. Yeah. You can hear your bike right there just <laughs> struggling. <laughs> that, that, that sounds like shit. <laughs> Let's do a little uh, example of what not. Oh, look at my <laughs> front tire. What was that? I'm going to take fault for that because if you go back, I'm right here telling you. Yeah, you, you told to... me to do yeah, it. Yeah, because you hadn't done a burnout yet. So I was like, spin your tire, and then you almost went into the to the Lexus booth. No, but we're good, I recovered. And you saved it. I, I was gonna dump again, but... It went to slide again. It went to slide again. I was gonna shift second. I think it's harder to lose a burnout and regain it than it is to just not crash. Mm -hmm. You can just stop and not crash, but keeping in it, it's, it's pretty fucking risky. That was strange. I know, it's kind of hard to watch. I'm not looking forward to watching my this track. And then I go for it again. I know. And I get it. I know. You gave, you gave the point that you can do it. We won practice, I can tell you that. I felt so good in practice. <laughs> Hug it out. You did great. Hug it out. Uh oh. We got Joey coming up next. Coming out with the. What we got. Jeez, bud. The elbow. The old elbow drag. Straight to dumpers. Trying to get the crowd hyped up, but they're just looking at you. I don't know how you come out of drifts like that and just rack it up. It's so hard. That's a con that's very, very hard move you got there. The cell outside of me wants to say Barnett clutches the cables. <laughs> I literally think Hand I tried to circle. Yeah, I think yeah. I tried to do a circle like ten times and it just never worked. That was clean. That lot was weird to drift in. Felt good up until right here. Like after this, this donut, little spot. Yeah, just that was like my best feeling of the weekend right there being coming out of that. Yeah. But I was like alright and then I threw it away right here. I tried to clutch up right here and go into a circle. And it's over. Oh dude yeah. your ankle folded. I what know. was that? It's been sore since. Damn, and, that was gnarly. And then I tried to do a front did your shit slide too? No, and I don't do these, so <laughs> I don't it wasn't do these. meant to be. I went for it anyways. And then right here I thought there's no way it was gonna grab back on and it did, but it wouldn't it wouldn't go to the limit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Were you second. in second? Oh yeah, holding as much as it would get. Yeah. At that you just point, smoke, you just yeah. smoked the whole show out. At that point I knew it was done, but whatever. And keep in mind, guys, this guy came with a slick on his tire, and he did both runs and practice on a slick, 100%. Yeah. We changed a lot of tires this week, but they weren't mine. Yeah. All right, here's the man. Here's here's Mr. Right. Bear. If you're in the industry, this is the guy right here. Came out with a hand drag on the road glide. Yeah, like it's nothing. Yeah, especially in a spot like that, and straight to... And he's just been riding so much, and like his bike, like... He just clicks with that bike so there's, well. there's nobody in the world right now more in tune with their motor. Maybe like some like of these GP racers with their yeah. full factory builds. But as far as stunt riding goes, like this guy and this bagger are one. 100%. The 
way he slides that thing is insane. He did it, dude. He's got it dialed in. He figured it out. Riding, he's got the scene going very well. He's giving back. You know, mm-hmm. he's doing what he needs to do, in my opinion. And the front brake control. Like, he's got it. You saw you and I try to do front brake yeah. stuff, and it, it doesn't happen. It doesn't work well. Were we in trouble? What did Jesse say? No. He, uh, he just wanted to see what we were doing. <laughs> they said we're, they were going to go eat, too. So. Okay. We're almost done. He recovers well too. That's what I was just gonna say, it's like his his mess ups aren't mess up. Yeah. He just goes into another yeah. another area and just keeps it going. He just recovers really good. No talent wise, no talent. Yeah. No talent. No talent. But it's been two and a half years of that. I just read on his post. He said two and a half years of just pure abuse. I'll stand behind Harvest too. Should I could replace the motor every six months? It'd still be better than the one. Right here. Any lights this is where fire. it gets super, <laughs> super interesting. Goes and lights, lights the ground on fire with the scrape. And he's gonna go. So normally, not normally, but there's a few, a few stunt, you know, groups that use fire like this pulling and a couple other guys. Like they go, they kind of just go through it, get the fire going, and then do the burnout for a little bit. Seabear does a burnout in it, and then just gets in the moment, and the burnout never stops. Seabear just took it to the extreme. Straight ghost rider. Look, I mean, look at his tire. It's still on it's fire. on fire. And then, oh no, see, I think he loses it right there. And How? then it came back. How? Like, see, and then... And look at his seat. And then he goes full Ricky oh Bobby. Oh my god. He actually got hit <laughs> up by Fig Newton yesterday after this video went out. And then what? Oh, dude. Oh, People shit. just started chucking water bottles. Yeah, we missed that part. They were I'm gonna say it right now, he is the most tuned in rider in the in the industry on that bike because he cares so much about that bike and the way he handled it, dude. I applaud him. He, he was just like, "Fuck it." Yep. Right. Right there. What's going through your mind right when you're sea bear, like right? When you look behind you, and yeah, there's it's straight flames coming out. Because right here, you think it's done. You look back. He's like, yeah. "All right, it's done." And then when you, if you're him right here, and you look back, right, right there, right there that little. <laughs> he's like, "Uh oh, bike's on fire." Bike is on fire. He's like, <laughs> "No, what do I do?" I love how calm Gabe is. But yeah, that was the 2020 recap. Again, guys, we are just 24, 25 year old. Like, what do we know? This is just our opinion. I, I'm sure there was more that you saw that we missed. At the end of the day, these guys killed it. We killed it. We had a really good time. Um, Everyone had a blast. Yeah, no one got too, too mad at each other. Um, compressor just in time. And uh, we'll end on making sure everyone recognizes that it's happening because of Bell Power Sports and Ride and Destroy. They're bringing these brawls out and that videos like this are happening because of Legend Suspension. So make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, check out the Tech Tuesdays and uh, let us know what you want to see. We'll see you next time.